but you know, I read a lot about the Founding Fathers, but really they don't do much. Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV, and today we're talking with Jackson Cool, a Reason contributor, a freelance journalist, and the author of the new book, Samuel Smedley, Connecticut Privateer. Jackson, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, who was Samuel Smedley? Samuel Smedley was a, uh, a Connecticut native who signed on during the American Revolution at the age of 23 uh, to be Lieutenant of Marines on the state ship Defense for the Connecticut State Navy. Uh, and less than a year later, he was the captain. He went on, he took a total of uh, 14 prizes during his uh, career, uh, was shipwrecked, captured by the British twice. The second time he was actually taken to England and imprisoned uh, from where he escaped into France. Uh, so he worked for the Connecticut Navy and each uh, proto-state under the Continental Congress had its own military and then there was also one that uh, the federal uh, government, for lack of a better word, or the Continental Congress chartered. Uh, what, what did the Connecticut uh, legislature charge him, like give him the permission to do? Originally the ship was intended for the defense of the seacoast, for the defense of the Connecticut shoreline. Um, particularly after the Battle of Brooklyn, Connecticut was surrounded, they, the British Navy were in Narragansett, they were in Long Island, and they were in New York. So Connecticut was surrounded on three sides. And originally they did. They went out and took three uh, Scottish transports uh, in uh, Boston, Boston Harbor. Um, but later, that didn't pay because all that money from those transports went to the naval office where it just kind of disappeared. Okay, and, and just to be clear, privateers, basically what he was told is that you go out and you capture ships and you get a certain, uh, you know, you get to keep a part of what you, uh, you and your crew get to right. keep a part of whatever you, you rob. Right, so the difference between pri a privateer was a ship that was outfitted at personal private expense. And what would happen is generally they didn't pay anything to the government. So what would happen was when they brought a prize in, it would go to the Admiralty Court. If it was judged to be a good prize and not piracy, it would be liquidated, the cargo sold, the ship sold. And for privateers, how they generally divided it was it would be 50% for the owners and the investors, and the remaining 50% would be divided among the officers and crew and divided into shares. Now, what the Continental Congress did was for their own Navy, they had set down rules. In the beginning, the, the Continental Congress would get two-thirds, mm -hmm. and the crew would get one-third on merchantmen but they later ch changed that because they had to compete with the privateers because if you're a sailor, you'd rather go on a ship and get 50% of a prize rather than 33% of a prize. So they changed that in October of 1776 where it was half on merchantmen and then they would award 100% uh, to the crew for ships of war because they knew that they weren't really right. gonna go after the Royal Navy. So, I mean, essentially, the, the Smedley story is partly a story about competition among armies or among military forces to say, Three okay. Three different ones, yeah. right. So, and, but what happened was Connecticut had originally followed the Continental Congress's model, but after that change, they did not follow suit. So mm -hmm. they stayed on the two-thirds, one-third model. The state got two-thirds of the prize, the crew got one-third. And what happened was Smedley couldn't recruit enough men for defense mm -hmm. and the other state ships as well because, again, everybody wanted to go either on the Continental or the Privateer and get 50% of the prize. And that helped uh, lead to his ultimate death. Right, he couldn't get enough men to get out of the harbor. Every voyage he's constantly having problems until finally he's out off New London because he couldn't go to the Caribbean to catch the merchantmen, mm -hmm. which he had been doing very successfully uh, to his benefit and to the benefit of the state because they were uh, getting some of that money. And he was off New London, and he wrecked on a shoal right outside New London in Long Island Sound. This, I mean, is a it's a small story on a certain level of the uh, of the Revolutionary War era, but it's I mean it's pretty fascinating, and, and it lays bare this uh, really interesting dynamic about how do you properly compensate people who are fighting for freedom or defending you, et cetera. I mean, which is really uh, just it, you know interesting as hell to think about. Americans are always told uh, you know that we don't care about history, we don't know anything about history, but in fact historical books, uh, books about people like you're talking about, uh, biographies, uh, etc. are always among the most popular. What is our interest in history and uh, you know what what can we do, you know what what's the uh, kind of eternal lessons that we're looking for from history? I, I think because there's just so many stories out there that you know you find like this I found I just came across a reference to Smedley 
And as I began reading more about it, I was like, this is an action movie. Why hasn't anything yeah. ever been written about this? And there's just, there's just countless of these stories out there that just nobody has had the time to mm -hmm. discover and investigate. Um, you know, for me, what I liked about this was that, you know, I read a lot about the Founding Fathers, but really they don't do much. I mean, they talk a lot, they write a lot of letters, but it's, yeah. it's even, even Washington wasn't really, you know, in the thick of things. Whereas, you know, somebody, let me read about this, who's got cannonballs screaming by his ears. Right. And, uh, you know, they're boarding ships and, you know, it's pistols and cutlasses. Are you uh, going to try to uh, turn this into a Pirates of the Caribbean franchise? Pirates I, of I New would, London? I would yeah. definitely love a movie and a franchise. Okay. Well, good luck with all that. Thank and uh, I think as a result of this uh, interview, Reason gets 50% of that prize, right? No, you At get least. 33. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll go with that. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie. We've been talking with Jackson Cool, author of Samuel Smedley, Connecticut Privateer. Thanks again. Thank you.